Ciao, this is Daniel DiTuro. In this video, I'm going to prepare an easy homemade salsa di pomodoro. A tomato sauce made with canned tomato sauce as opposed to the chunky marinara sauce that's served in many restaurants. This is a sauce typical of the Puglia region of Italy, which is a major producer of tomatoes. Unfortunately, good quality vine ripened tomatoes are about as difficult to find in the Arizona desert as rain, so I'm going to use canned tomato sauce. This recipe makes about four quarts. Tomato sauce freezes well, so I like to prepare a large batch, freeze it, and then thaw it as I need it. I'm using two 15 ounce cans of regular tomato sauce and four 15 ounce cans of low sodium tomato sauce. I'm also adding a half cup of dry red wine, but you can omit the wine if desired. I've chopped one medium onion and minced three cloves of garlic. For fresh herbs, I'm using two tablespoons of Italian parsley, a tablespoon of basil, and three bay leaves. Coarsely chop the parsley and basil before adding it to the sauce. My dry herbs consist of a teaspoon of oregano, and a half a teaspoon of ground anise. For a meat sauce, add one pound of sweet or hot Italian sausage and one pound lean ground beef. Omit the meat for a plain tomato sauce. If you like a bolognese style meat sauce, double the amount of meat. In a large pan or Dutch oven, heat two tablespoons of olive oil over medium heat. Add the onions and saute four to five minutes or until the onions are translucent. Add the ground beef and sausage and use a spoon to break it up into small pieces. Saute the meat, stirring and breaking it up into small pieces until browned. A little pink is acceptable because the meat will continue cooking after you've added the tomato sauce. Add the garlic and herbs, stir and cook about a minute. Then add the red wine if desired, followed by the tomato sauce. Stir to thoroughly combine. When the sauce comes to a boil, reduce the heat to low, cover leaving a small opening, and simmer one to two hours, stirring about every 30 minutes, or until the sauce has reached the desired consistency. Your sauce is now ready for everything from a pasta e fagioli to a delicious, quick, homemade lasagna. If you don't plan on using the sauce the same day, remove it to a wire rack and cool two to four hours before refrigerating. Warm sauce will stain plastic, so I allow it to completely cool before I transfer it to containers for freezing. Depending on the container size, it will thaw in the refrigerator in 24 hours. One half cup of tomato meat sauce has about 140 calories and 300 milligrams of sodium. Thank you for watching. Buon appetito!